Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the United Nations High Representative for the Alliance of Civilizations, His Excellency Nasser Abdulaziz Al Nasser. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أصحاب السعادة In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate ladies and gentlemen, your highness, your excellency, dear audience, I am so honored to be a speaker in the Doha Goal Forum in Doha, the capital of international sport. This is a golden opportunity offered to us. It is an opportunity or it is a valuable opportunity to see the ministers and the representative, uh, representatives of sport being in the Doha Goal Forum. But before that, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks uh, to uh, His Highness uh, the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani was behind the success of our Olympic objectives and he was behind the realization of our dreams. Qatar, small as it is, now it is shining in all over the world because our authorities are very responsible. His Highness the Emir did a lot to help improve sport and to inspire the youth. And as a representative for the Alliance of Civilization, uh, we are so happy to take part in the uh, enforcement of the initiatives that may come out of this forum. We do know that all the initiatives can improve the lives of the youth. So uh, building, building the Doha sports city has been a key factor in helping us win the bid of hosting the 2022 World Cup. Thanks a lot to His Highness and thanks to all his initiatives. And we are so glad to be part of the Alliance for of Civilizations. Such, uh, such a forum will foster the bonds between the international communities. I would like also to thank His, his Excellency Sheikh Faisal Al Thani, the Executive Director. And also, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to Mr. Richard Atias, uh, Executive Chairman, for uh, having or for making uh, this meeting possible. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, I am now the High Representative for the Alliance of, Civil of Civilizations since, uh, since uh, last February. And I did, and uh, and I did focus on the importance of sports and music as a factor to bring civilizations together, because these concepts may play as a factor of inclusiveness. Last week, we lost an important international figure, Nelson Mandela Madiba. And uh, we all know how important uh, sport for Mandela was, and as a factor of bringing peace. Who, 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 who can forget uh, Nelson Mandela when he was attending the rugby final in 1995 in Joburg? Mandela knew how to bring uh, people together and he knew how to make people behave as one man or the team behave as one man and 
based on that and inspired by Mandela, we would like to say that this forum is a golden opportunity, is a valuable opportunity for us to show that sport can bring fairness and justice and can bring or can improve countries. I'm oh, sorry, can improve the economies of countries. And from this stage, I would like uh, to speak about uh, the Forum of the Alliance of Civilizations that was hosted uh, in Doha in 2011 under the auspices of, uh, of Sheikh Moza, Moza bint Misnad. And uh, in the same vein, the Alliance of Civilizations will also capitalize on the importance of sports as a factor of development in the first quarter of, 20, of 2014. Nobody can deny that the ethics of sport can help the individuals and the societies to protect the youth and to prevent them from being addicted to drugs and smoking and the like. So in the United Nations, we say that the human rights or all the factors of the human rights are intermingled. So sport can play or sport can be the factor or a factor to bring, to bring about peace. Ladies and gentlemen, the organization of the Alliance of Civilizations is an organization which seeks to bring peace and foster the strong bonds between the countries. Guided by this idea, we have put or we have founded many mechanisms and strategies that will help the mutual understanding. Also, the organization of the Alliance of Civilizations seeks to, seeks to help the youth and the young being more, more creative and more innovative. Most important is to obliterate all the differences, whether they are ethnic, religious, and racial and uh, in order to put uh, into practice uh, our ideas and initiatives, we have a good partnership with the private factors, including BMW, that will sponsor many projects. Also, we would like uh, to invite uh, all the stakeholders, and we would like uh, to and, and we would like to invite the sportsmen and sportswomen, whether they are Muslims or Christians, to work together. The Secretary General of the United Nations did make it clear, I myself also made it clear that many conflicts can be surmounted. Sport can play the role of the unifying factor. Sport can go beyond the ethnic differences and the racial differences. We, we are looking for unification and we can bring people together and we can do away with the misconceptions. We are looking for a mutual understanding. For the time being, the organization of the Alliance of Civilizations is looking for a new strategy that uses sports, arts, and music as a factor of peace. And uh, we talk uh, about uh, the importance of the dialogue among all the civilizations. And in order for this strategy to be effective, we would like uh, to have, uh, we need some partnership uh, with the specialized institutions in order to see the goals of the organization of the Alliance of Civilizations as soon as possible. As a representative of the organization of the Alliance of Civilizations, I would like to see a partnership with the Doha Goal Forum. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to me, and I wish you the best.
سيداتي سادتي دعونا الان نرحب بوزير الرياضه والشباب الشيخ صالح Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of God, the merciful, uh, the compassionate, uh, initially and first of all, I would like to touch on two levels. First of all, I'm a representative of the government, and the first part is going to be official. And uh, being, being a human being, I would like also to address you informally after I finish uh, with the official uh, speech. First of all, uh, uh, a heartfelt welcome uh, to Doha, and I wish you the best uh, of luck, and I wish you that you benefit a lot, uh, Your Highness, uh, Your Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear guests. I'm so happy to welcome you to Doha in the second version of the Doha Goal Forum. And the Doha goal form seeks to improve the importance of sport and to foster the importance of sport as a factor of economic development. Doha in the previous years has become a very important partner, a very important international partner in improving the sport. We, are, we hosted many important sports events. And as it was up, it has always been up to the expectations. And we have always been helpful. And we have always had a good partnership with the Muslim countries, the Arab countries, and the rest of the countries. And in most of the cases, we wanted to make sure to support or to provide the necessary support. And there is. I believe there is no denial that uh, among the objectives, everybody knows that we're, when we won the bid of 2022, and, uh, the mo and the winning card in our bid was that we said that we're going to dismantle the sports facilities after the end of the World Cup, and we're going to use them to help support the development of sports in the developing countries or countries that need help in infrastructure. Also, Qatar did make its best to support all the international initiatives, starting from the initiatives of the International Olympic Committee, which made sure that, or which seeks to make sport as a factor of, of uh, as, as a factor to protect the environment. And uh, that's why we, we started to build some some environment, uh, sorry, so some stadium, some stadia that help protect uh, the environment. And uh, this is the reason why we hosted a very important meeting that focused on the importance of the environment. And uh, our responsibilities as Qataris also is put on or our focus is also on the improvement of education and sports. You are attending this meeting in, in Aspire, and Aspire is a facility that is self-telling of the importance of sport in Qatar. So the Academy of Aspire does provide the student with a sports curriculum that help them, that help them improve or that help them embrace the good values. The Aspire Academy also is is or has been the facility that is being used to host many sports events, including the Asian Games of 2006. So 
believing in the human capital and believing that the human being is the basic determinant of any development. So we are so happy to welcome you here and we are so happy to introduce the program of the uh, under the name of the bridges that will help provide some opportunities with the specialized institutions and company to help us come out with the best world cup possible and there are many initiatives in education and culture including schools, universities, and museums. These are the basic determinants of success, and these are the basic determinants of, of acquiring knowledge. And we are so happy to have the best athletes, the best champions that are the source of inspiration for the young and the youth. And the athletes, uh, the world athletes and champions, were part uh, of uh, the discussions of the ministers yesterday. I would like uh, to thank them uh, truly. And uh, I would like to seize the opportunity to thank uh, the ministers that uh, attended the summit of the sports ministers. And uh, transparency was the key factor of success uh, yesterday. So. I would like also to welcome the 400 students from all over the world, and we are looking forward to your participation and your cooperative spirits and your initiatives to make this forum successful. And I would like you to be to serve as a source of inspiration for all. Also, I would like to thank Sheikh Faisal. I would like also to thank Richard Atiyas. And I would like also to thank Doha Goals for bringing these beautiful minds. And God willing, I wish you the best of luck. This is the official speech. <laughs> As a representative of the government. But now, but now, briefly, I would like to, t uh, to talk uh, informally, so, but before that, I would like uh, to speak to the youth and to the young. Uh, don't let them fool you, he says. Most of the governments and the states see the young as a problem. And my message to all is to see or to look at the youngs or to take the youngs as a source of energy, as, uh, um, as a source of development. And I would like uh, to tell the young, you have to empower yourself and you don't have to rely a lot or all the time on the government. In Quran, there is a verse that says, God doesn't change people unless they start by changing themselves. There, there could be no change from the sky, as we may say. And the other observation is that at the beginning of the 20th century in Qatar, in Qatar, or our economy was based on the industry of pearls. 90 90% 90% uh, uh, of our revenue came uh, from the pearl industry and uh, at the beginning of the 20th century you know other countries started to export pearls uh, and uh, for about uh, 20 years we suffered a lot uh, and uh, we faced some uh, financial uh, difficulties. But thanks to God, and uh, uh, we discovered, uh, sorry, oil was discovered uh, in uh, uh, Qatar, and that made us rich. Also, after that, we discovered gas. And this explains the wealth process of Qatar. Why, I'm, this, why I am talking about this is to show 
why uh, Sheikh uh, His Highness uh, uh, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, and why we did you, and why we put the vision of Qatar 2030. Qatar or the Qatari authorities are working hard to make the main resource or the main source of development uh, uh, to be the young in 2030. Uh, I told you this to tell you how important the young are.